Hey guys, so I am doing a quick little live stream here before I go to the golf course to teach some lessons. And uh, I want to talk a little bit about the evolution of my golf instruction. It's changed quite a bit. So I'll do about 10 minutes before I have to get out of here. But not only is my golf swing easier, it's way easier to teach. You know, when I made this over the top miracle swing video, um, I was surprised that it wound up being 42 minutes long. All of my other instruction videos are at least an hour and 20 minutes long. This one's only 42 minutes. And I was like, you yeah, know, should I cram more stuff in there? I'm like, no, that's all there is. That's all there is. So in teaching yesterday, I only went through five lessons. I had a student that flew in from Dallas, um, Luis. He's asking me if it works with a strong grip. Yes, it does. A lot of OTT swingers use a strong grip. John Daly and Fred Couples come to mind. Um, you know, it, it's all in how you, you know, it's how the face and the path meet the ball. Um, you know, so at any rate, yesterday I was uh, working on explaining. The first two steps are simply explaining explaining the claw and how you maintain lag pressure on the shaft. Okay. Number two is explaining the magical four inches and understanding how you must have low point control in the swing. So those two things are really things we're talking about. And then uh, we worked on the back swing, the weight transfer and the figure eight, you know, so that's pretty darn simple um, to be honest with you. And, you know, all these things are a part of my swing evolution. Uh, when I used to teach, I had a list of 20 subjects that I'd go through. And, um, you know, that's the way a lot, of, a lot of lesson teachers are. There's a lot to go through. But it's much better to do something that is based on a throw that makes it very, very simple. And I believe that if you can give one lesson that makes five good things happen, you're doing the right thing. And, uh, you know, in martial arts, you don't have this extremely crazy technical instruction. Yes, a lot of it can be technical if you want to get down to the nitty gritty, you know, but really it's all about understanding leverage. And if you understand leverage, then, you know, you can make a million things go well. One of the things I said to my student yesterday, I was like, you know, we could pull apart a Swiss watch and talk about how all the gears work. And that, that's, you know, fine in a sense, but I'd rather just tell time, you know, and that's how the golf swing is getting to me now. And we were talking and, and I'm like, I really think that around the Jack Nicholas era is when the industry of golf instruction came into being. Before, I think instruction was very, very simple. You know, I remember the old timers that would teach me things at the golf course. You know, they were very, very simple and essentially basic. But but it just got much, much more complicated with the big swing academies that started to emerge in the 80s and especially the 90s, you know, where you've got, you know, dozens and dozens of lessons in a long plan and you know, you're just trying to, you know, help people, you know, understand the golf swing when it's just a throw. That's all it is. Um, so I'm going to answer a couple questions real quick. Dark Star is asking if my definition of OTT is a movement of the upper, upper body towards the target at the beginning of the downswing. That's not my definition. My definition of over the top is coming over the backswing plane. Okay. So if you go up flat, it's easy to be a little over the top. That's why a lot of people don't believe that I'm really over the top. Um, so Matt, let's see here. Personal preference anyway. Um, so Matt's asking about a fade. Um, I'm a natural drawer of the ball. I actually had trouble. I couldn't hit a fade for a long time. I was hooking it so bad, but now it's not too difficult. So um, for me, it's easier to hit it straight because I, I'm a draw player. Um, throw at the ball or through the ball towards the target. Luis, at the ball. 
This is a big thing. You throw the ball at the ball. If you had a ball, you're not trying to turn and throw it towards the target. You keep your chest down and throw down to the target. That's that's one of the big changes I've made. And I was again, I was explaining yesterday that there's a lot of videos or pictures and talk about skipping a stone. And Hogan had that sidearm photo, you know, maybe he came up with that. Maybe somebody asked him to do it. But I feel very strongly that you're throwing down into the ground. You're not trying to twist and throw towards the target. Okay, so um, I've got a question from Nick. Any idea why I have to play with a really weak grip to keep from nasty draws? Yeah, because you're too inside out, Nick. Do the over-the-top miracle golf swing, and that'll be fixed. That's literally where I was coming from. You know, um, if you hit a bad draw or a big hook, you know your your path is too inside out. So all I did was by doing this, I corrected that but it made several other great things happen in my golf swing. It lessened my early extension. That that's I've been showing those in videos like a month ago. I don't even think about it now. As long as I stay in my posture and throw down, I'm going to maintain my hip depth much better. When I was dropping it under, that's what causes the hips to goat hump, you know? So Green Bald asks, can I learn this before my co course opens in two weeks? Yes. Yes, you can. I made a video two videos ago where a student wrote me and said they bought the video, they watched it, and the next morning, not hitting golf balls, they went to go play golf, and it only took nine holes to get the feeling. It's literally, okay, guys, the over-the-top swing is the most natural way to swing the club. How would you swing a sledgehammer? How would you swing an ax? Okay, that's the motion. How do you throw a baseball or how do you throw a football? How do you serve a ball in tennis? It's the most natural motion. So at any rate, um, yeah, I'm going to have to get going to the course by one to just touch base. I'm so excited. I want to say thank you to everybody who's been following along this journey because this is such a taboo subject in golf, and I believe now it's the most important lesson in golf. How could that be? But I want to be the Pied Piper to lead people towards this revelation that I've had. I'm not the only person that's done it. People have done this throughout history. But in modern golf instruction, it's taboo. And I'm saying this is the way, okay? This is the way. So, guys... God bless you. I hope you hit them long and hit them straight.